Yeah. We always want to stay current with what interpreters are experiencing. And right now we're experiencing a recession. Hello. The recession hit interpreters, if you notice or not, affected December of 2009. You notice work has slowed down in the community because budgets had gotten smaller. And everything trickles down, doesn't it? All of that was affected. We had layoffs here on campus. And so with that in mind, we really want to take the opportunity in our May meeting to have a large discussion on what we can do to keep employment, what's available in our community in terms of work, what skills are most important to bring to the table as interpreters in order to keep working. Sometimes we don't realize if we've been in the game a long time, we might be a little rusty at things we need to polish up on. Or there could be some things we're not really thinking of that we need to incorporate in order to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to use the opportunity in our next meeting in May to talk about that because we need to. It's a current thing that's affecting interpreters, and so we want to talk about it in a professional way. So I want you to look forward to that in May. Also in May, we have so many, I got so many calls on, Selma, can you mentor me? Selma, can you mentor me? I would love to mentor. I love to mentor. I don't mind mentoring, but I think it's a much better choice for us to use the next meeting that we have to talk about mentoring and how to get the best out of your education. We have, I, I see Kalani here tonight. Kalani Pam. There was some superwoman dream team that they had when they went to school. She thought she was out of the first They had such a wonderful plan of how they help each other, how they study, the mentors they picked, why they picked those mentors. They came out of it with their masters, with their BS degree. They're here among us. Let's learn from them. We have scholars among us. We have people that are doing wonderful and great things with people that are phenomenal. Audrey, she doesn't want me to embarrass her, so I won't. Audrey is a phenomenal interpreter. Now, you have to talk to her to find out what she's pursuing now, because I think it's phenomenal and exciting. She is wonderful. But when you watch Audrey sign, your jaw drops. Well, guess what? Audrey's here. So let's take advantage of the people that, the giants that we have around us. So our next meeting in May, we're going to interview these people. See how they get turned back in the end. We're going to interview them and find out what they're doing, what they did to accomplish their goals and what they're still doing to accomplish their goals. You have Candace here, you have Lisa here, you have Mary here. I mean, we have to utilize these people that are before us. Okay. So now, getting into some other things. I don't know if you saw the flyer, but Christine Gannon is coming to give her workshop on signing, sex, signing and sexuality. What's the name of the workshop? Mm -hmm. for sexuality. I'm telling you, the bomb workshop is three days long. It takes place in Philadelphia. She is gracious enough to come here for one whole day on Saturday, and then again, the same workshop all day on Sunday. I am telling you, you have to take this workshop. It is phenomenal. And it's not about learning signs, how to do orgasm, and how to do, um, I didn't even have words for, where is that list? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Um, how to do labia and fisting and and um, <laughs> right? I mean, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not, I mean, you're gonna learn those signs, but it is so in depth. She is a master at what she does, and I'm telling you, if you miss her workshop, you have missed it. It's fantastic. She is coming here exclusively for Naomi DC, so mark your calendars for one day or the other. June 5th, 4th, 12th, we have Tissa Paris. Do you all know Tissa? Here on the go, I gave hand back. <laughs> See who raised her hand. Last year, we had a wonderful recommendation from the on this. He gives a wonderful <coughs> workshop on visual gesturalization. 
and he is committed to giving that workshop for Navy DC. It's either going to take place on the 5th or the 12th. He says either day is fine for him, but we're trying to figure out with graduation and with Naomi National, which weekend would work best for Naomi. So that's in the works. Um, July 17th, we have a workshop entitled The Healthy Interpreter. Check this out. We have so many great presenters in this workshop. It's going to be July 17th. So far, out of five presenters, three have committed to the 17th. So we know we're going to have it in July, but tentative on the 17th. Who looks at Top Chef? Anyone looks at Top okay. Chef? Spike Mendelson, do you remember him? Mm -hmm. Coming! Yes, for Naomi DC. He is coming here to present the healthy interpreter for Naomi DC. He has, he was on, if you don't know who he is, he was one of the top five contestants on Top Chef. And he has a restaurant called The Good Stuff Eatery here on the hill. And he's going to come and talk about the fabulous ways that we can do better cooking for ourselves. We also have Kelly McGrath coming. She's a nutritional educator at UBC. She's fabulous. Um, she's going to teach us, you know, how to read labels and how to take care of yourself. How many people have family members with sugar diabetes? Okay, keep your hands up. How many people have neighbors or friends with sugar diabetes? Raise your other hand. You see why we need the healthy interpreter? Now, that's not even talking about interpreters. See, I didn't ask for your personal business. I asked for the personal business of your family. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's hand went up. As interpreters, we need to keep ourselves healthy. Because you know what? If we don't, we can't work. See, in our profession, when we are not healthy, it affects what we do. So that's why we're having this. I'm also looking for someone that can come in and talk about yoga and Pilates and can talk about um, um, our, our natural eating from a vegan standpoint. So if you know someone that I can call, please give me their contact information. We also have Alicia Rucker committed. When I say committed coming, I mean contract already done. So trust me when I say this. Alicia Rucker, she's a nurse, and she's a nurse for cancer patients, but she does an hour relaxation. Check this out. You are going to absolutely melt when you have this relaxation piece that she does. It is phenomenal. And she's coming to do it for an AODC along with this workshop. Um, she's a registered nurse at Georgetown. And Ms. Nadine Kager, she is the coordinator of Green Pasture. She's coming to talk about um, keeping ourselves healthy with regards to our heart, um, internally. You'll, you, you'll see what I mean when you see her stuff. Right now, they have got all this information to read on interpreters and what we do. Because I just don't want a speech on how to eat right. I want them to apply everything to sign language interpreting, to our lifestyle, to living, eating on the run, going from assignment to assignment to assignment, and how to take our lives as interpreters and incorporate their acumen on what they do. So all of them now are just like emailing me on, wow, well, I didn't know what you're doing this. I didn't know about your because you know, I want them to know about what they do before they come and teach us a thing or two. So again, the workshop is called The Healthy Interpreter, and that's coming up in July. We also have Adam Barkley. Let's take Adam Barkley. Please, please let Adam Barkley He is committed to doing his workshop for us on the interpreter and interrogation. He has committed for July. We have to look at the region two and with the Healthy Interpreter workshop and see what we can him in, and if not, we will have him in the fall. The Metropolitan Police Department is committed by contract to do an, a workshop on M, uh, MPB and the Sign Language Interpreter. So, I say all that to say, we are finalizing our Professional Development Committee tonight, but already we've got five workshops. This board is rolling. We meet every week, every week for you. And then we meet a week before we meet with you. So we are constantly working. And we did all of this without a professional development.
development committee. So, hands off to the board for getting all this down.